any more than one malady at a time. But should they have the plague, the gout, the stone, and fever all at one time, how miserable would they think themselves? Yet all that is but like the biting of a flea, compared to those intolerable, pungent pains which those in hell endure. There they have all the loathed variety of hell to grapple with, the unquenchable fire to burn them, a lake of burning brimstone ever choking them, eternal chains to bind them, butter darkness to affright them, and a worm of conscience which gnaws upon them eternally. Any one of these is worse to bear than all the torments which mankind ever felt on earth. But the torments in hell are also universal, afflicting each part of the body and soul, which renders what they suffer most insufferable. In those illnesses which men are seized with on earth, though some parts are afflicted, other parts are free. But in hell, each member of the soul and body is continually tormented. The eye is tormented with the sight of the devils, who appear in all the horrid and black shapes which sin can give them. The ear is tormented with the loud yellings and continual outcries of the damned. The nostrils are smothered with sulfurous flames tongue is covered with burning blisters, and the whole body is rolled in flames of liquid fire. The imagination is tormented with the thoughts of what a heaven has been lost. 